Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will give you tips on how to save money when traveling to Scotland. Come and see. Contrary to popular belief, Scotland is not just the land of Braveheart, Haggis, and Whiskey. It's a rugged country filled with towering castles, stunning locks and mountains, beautiful parks, and incredible history. Partially conquered by the Romans, Scotland is a land with a turbulent past. It was invaded countless times by the English during the Middle Ages before the Treaty of Union in 1707 united the continent. Since then, it's been a part of the United Kingdom. While Scotland may be a small country, it's had a huge impact on the direction of the world. Economist Adam Smith, inventor of the telephone Alexander Graham Bell, novelist Robert Louis Stevenson, philosopher David Hume, ecologist John Muir, the list of famous Scots goes on. I love visiting Scotland. The people, the jovial spirit, the landscape, the booze. Scotland never disappoints. It's an incredible destination for road trips, so make sure you get out of the cities and into the highlands with their rich jagged landscapes. And be sure to head west to the islands of Islay, Jura, and Mull. This travel guide to Scotland can help you plan where to go, what to see, how to save money, and everything in between. Top 5 Things to See and Do in Scotland 1. Explore the Scottish Highlands Visit the highlands of Scotland for moody mountains, rugged terrain, glaciers, lochs, and kilt-clad Scotsmen. While the land may be harsh and unforgiving, you haven't really seen Scotland until you've been here. Don't miss Glencoe, Cairngorms National Park, Inverness, and the Isle of Skye. Two, visit Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a glorious city filled with medieval cobblestone streets, lots of green space, free museums, a huge castle, and maybe even some ghosts. There's a lot to do here, so be sure to spend a few days. It's an amazing place. Three, celebrate Hogmanay. Hogmanay is one of the largest New Year's celebrations in the world, attracting over 100,000 people for the two-day festival. The modern iteration has musical acts, a torchlight procession, multiple fireworks displays, and a large street party. Four, drink whiskey in Islay. Whiskey has a long history on Islay. It's been made there since the 16th century first in backyards and then, starting in the 19th century, in big distilleries. Over the years, whiskey from the island came to be considered a specialty and is famous around the world. Five, visit Inverness. Besides the historic buildings in the old town, there is a great selection of places to eat and drink, Inverness Castle, the Inverness Museum and Art Gallery, and a Victorian Market. Plus, it is close to Loch Ness, a bunch of distilleries, and a few golf courses. Other things to see and do in Scotland. One. Try to find Nessie. Loch Ness is one of the most famous lochs in Scotland. It's the alleged home to Nessie, Aka, the Loch Ness Monster, a creature said to live in the loch. The first sightings date back to the 1870s, though there is no definitive proof that any such creature exists. Nonetheless, the myth perseveres, making Loch Ness a popular destination to visit. While here, you can take a cruise, hike in the nearby hills, 
and enjoy some of the smaller nearby towns and villages like Doors or the nearby ruins of Urquhart Castle. The best way to get here is to travel to Inverness, from which Loch Ness is close enough to take a day trip to. Two, wander around Glasgow. Glasgow is a busy and bustling city, home to a youthful population and a picturesque downtown. With plenty of parks, historical monuments, and museums, there is plenty to do here if you're on a budget. It's also a vegan and vegetarian hotspot too. Don't miss the Kelvin Rove Art Gallery and Museum, relaxing in Glasgow Green, seeing the cathedral, and day tripping to the nearby Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. Three, see the cathedrals. The cathedrals in Scotland are marvelous with their unique Gothic architecture and imposing heights. A few of the top cathedrals to visit are Dunfermline Abbey and Palace in Fife, Stt. Magnus Cathedral in the Orkney Islands, Street Giles in Edinburgh, and Melrose Abbey in the Borders. Also, don't miss the Glasgow Cathedral, which was built in 1136 and is the oldest building in Glasgow. Admission is free though donations are encouraged. 4. Puzzle over Rosslyn Chapel. This historic chapel near Edinburgh is ripe with intricate artwork and symbolism that has spawned many conspiracy theories. It was featured heavily in the Da Vinci Code and is located just an hour outside Edinburgh. Admission costs 9.5 GBP. 5. Play golf. The Scottish invented golf in the 15th century. If you're not lucky enough to play around at Stt. Andrews, there are plenty of other immaculate and challenging courses to keep any golf player happy. Try to play during the low season if you want the lowest prices. Castle, Stewart, Royal Dornock, and Muirfield are some other great courses worth playing. 6. See the Quileen. This dramatic mountain range dominates the Isle of Skye. There are two main ridges, which can be visited as a day trip or a longer two-day hike. Much of the mountain range, which stretches 14 kilometers, can be hiked, though some peaks require more technical climbing skills. There are campgrounds and a hostel nearby in Glenbridle as well. Some of the most popular trails are Rub and D-Name, Quar Lagan, and C.G.R. Alistair. 7. Visit Ruins of Melrose Abbey Robert I was the King of Scotland from 1306 until his death in 1329. Legend has it that his heart is buried in the ruins of Melrose Abbey. The Abbey, founded in the 12th century and located in Melrose, was repeatedly destroyed by the English in the 14th century. You can still see marks on the surviving walls from cannonballs during the English Civil War. The Abbey ruins are decorated with intricate artwork carved into the remaining stone walls. Admission is 6 GBP. 8. Explore Dundee. Dundee is a lively student city along the coast with a lot of interesting museums. It's a UNESCO city of design and is the sunniest spot in the country too. Don't miss a visit to Discovery Point to learn about the famous Antarctic expedition that launched from here in 1902 on the RSS Discovery. 
Also, be sure to take in the Great Street Art, the Vaults, and the McManus Art Gallery as well. Nine. Visit the mystical Smu Cave, the sleepy town of Durnis, located 193 kilometers north of Inverness, is the access point for Smu Cave, a coastline cave complex that can be explored independently or on a tour. Evidence from charcoal samples shows that it may have been inhabited over 4,000 years ago. The cave is free to enter but guided tours, which take you deeper into the cave, are 10 GBP. You get to see a lot more on the tour than you would if you just visit independently. Tours last around 20 minutes. 10. Head to the Isle of Arran. Located 2.5 hours west of Glasgow, this isle is a popular tourist destination for its charming scenery of jagged hills and rugged coasts, walking trails, and historic villages. Visit Brodick Castle, go for a hike, keep a lookout for seals and golden eagles, and enjoy the remote scenery. Don't miss the Makery Moor stone circles, they date back almost 5,000 years. Eleven. Explore the Cairngorms. Cairngorms National Park is the largest national park in the UK, spanning 4,528 square kilometers. Located two hours from Edinburgh by car, it makes for a great getaway for anyone looking to get out and see the highlands. The park is dotted with beautiful B&Bs in historic stone buildings, and there are several campgrounds available for anyone traveling in a camper van or with a tent. Wild camping is also permitted, providing you do so responsibly. The park offers lots of hiking trails too. 12. Don't miss Rivowen Pass, Daradi to Ruthven, and Ben McDewey. If you visit in the winter, you can also go skiing on Karen Gaum Mountain. If you're lucky, you may spot some of the reindeer that call the park home. Admission to the park is free. 12. Attend the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. The Edinburgh Festival Fringe is the world's largest arts festival. It usually lasts three weeks and takes over the entire city of Edinburgh. There are tens of thousands of performances, including plays, musicals, live music, puppet shows, and much more. There are literally thousands of different shows held and hundreds of venues around the city. It's a massive festival and brings in upwards of 3 million visitors. It's a zany, inspiring, and entertaining festival and one that shouldn't be missed. Just make sure you book your tickets and accommodation in advance as things fill up fast. 13. Tour the Isle of Skye. This popular island off the northwestern tip of the country is a scenic place to take a road trip. The island offers sweeping views over the rugged coastline, hiking trails, castles, waterfalls, and quaint villages and B&Bs. While most people just visit for a day, I suggest spending a few days driving around and getting off the beaten path. You can visit by bus if you don't have a car however, having your own vehicle will give you much more freedom. Don't miss Dunvegan Castle, the Old Man of Store Rock Formation, and Brothers Point. 
Summer is the most popular time to visit Scotland. In July and August, there's warm weather and minimal rain, with temperatures reaching highs of around 20 C. This is also the busiest time of the year, so expect crowds in the cities and lots of people out enjoying the national parks. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival takes place in August, which is a huge multi-week festival. Be sure to book your accommodation in advance if you're visiting during this time. September is a rather wet month. Though in October, there's incredible fall foliage. Overall, October is a great time to visit, especially if you plan on renting a car or camper and heading into the Cairngorms. Seasonal businesses and accommodations start to close in mid-October, so be sure to keep that in mind when planning. Expect October temperatures to hover around 12 C during the day. The spring is a great time to visit, with April and May offering minimal rain and no crowds. There's still snow and cool temperatures in the highlands, but the cities are lively without being crowded. Winters in Scotland are cold and dark. December is relatively dry with temperatures dipping below OC. It's nevertheless a popular time to visit, with many tourists coming to Edinburgh for the huge Hogmanay New Year's Eve celebration. Book your accommodation well in advance if you plan to attend. I truly hope you found this Scotland travel guide helpful in planning your upcoming adventures. Don't hesitate to drop any questions in the comments. Thank you very much.